cam set up. I think I don't know if I film this, but I just film it now. Same as Penny, but I've got a great heap of bloody stuff piled up here. That's uh, neighbours. Got the panels. Mm, a heap of people here. Good having a yak to everybody, everywhere. Very friendly atmosphere. They just got in a, a new big phone over there. They're just finishing it off. Freed any any mobile or anything in Australia. The boys are just finishing her off there. Yeah, I just rung my wife last night. Another one going rolling out. There'll be another few rolling in. Yeah. Okay. Catch you on the water today with the boys. Got it. Look up, Craig. <laughs> yeah. Count them in now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold him up. <laughs> seven. We can get one more big one. We'll keep these. No, ones that's on seven. Top. That's oh. you need nine. Oh, we have two more big, yeah. big ones. So remember, we've got three big ones in here that might have to go. And then we can have two more. Yes, well, you can either get them here or we move somewhere else. We might as well get them here. We know they're here. Doing exactly what that thing I had on here. Oh, yeah, he's a big pressure. Big old cod or something, eh? I think so. Yeah. Hope you get past that knot there. Yeah. I might hit the camera out too. Oh, I don't want to jinx you. You can hit him up and I'll feel him. I don't mind it, mate. Oh, look. Like a tiger, is he? Yeah. Shark. Some sort of shark. Oh, finish. I'm not sure, but I think I'm getting close to where we camped in 1988. And uh, must be a scrub bull or something up here. I see the footprint. I'm about three or four k's up from the gowns. Two or three k's. There's a big float here on the beach. I take it back, and but it's a bloody long walk with it. It's here to be a good memento. It's, washed up on the beach here, might come back and get it one day. Yeah, see where the bull walked up here. Feel a bit naked without a rifle. Must come out here and have a drink just on the low water. Look at that, that's a floating one. Oh, it's got air in it. I might carry that sucker with me. Oh no, he's as hard as a bloody rock. Oh, and that's sharp. All right, I don't know how much battery I've got. I'll leave this. And uh, I think this is where we camped up here. Hard to tell, it might be the next bay up. Anyway, that's what she looks like out there. Trust got all uh, airports just across there, a big Air Force base that was never there. We're all for adventure went and Jason heard his belly lifting rocks out there. Look at this, We're a little croc, lump of croc. I'd say a bloody three metre or two and a half metre. His footprint's there. About the size of, size of my foot. He's come up here and he's gone down there. 
Uh, I don't know how this is. I'm filming this on the big camera. But look up here. I didn't know this was here. And look at that. He's coming in and got a drink of fresh water. He's crawled right up in here. I better watch he's not in there, but it looks like he's gone out. Look at that. Lovely fresh water coming out of there. That's where all the cattle and that are getting the water. How fresh is it? Oh, beautiful. How's that? Oh, frightened shit out of me. Heard the trees moving. You could live there. Tinny just laying up here in the bush. Looks like she's got the bum ripped out of her. Yeah, big hole in her. Crocodile, got a crocodile. I reckon I'm getting not far away from the, where we camped. There was a heap of stuff on the bank there. He's going, Tonky. Just at the Clumberoo dump, at the old dump. It's just all 80s and 60s and troopies. Oh, there's friggin' dozens of them here. And I just, uh, I just come in and I was after a, a back clamp had rattled off on the road in on the back sway bar. This back sway bar clamp on my 80. Look at that, it's even got the bush that goes through the bolt on on that. I couldn't find the clamp anywhere, so I thought, and it looks like it's gone off this diff. This is an 80. And uh, um, we just changed the oil. Sorry, I'll do this first. And there's a clamp there on the front sway bar. I just had to tap it together a bit. Job done. 1HZ, just laying in there. Chassis and this one just looks brilliant. Bit of oil around it. Yeah, parts, holy heck, I'll just have a wander around. This is just an 80 series, I mean a Toyota graveyard, hey. This looks like a 60. No, she might not be. She might be an 80. There's a 60. There's an old tractor ass in. Here's another couple. They're all here everywhere, Toyotas. Holy heck, she'd be a wrecker's. Wrecker just love it here. Any part you want, I reckon. And I leave, I think they leave it here so the people, the locals can come and trade. It's just out the zone. Look at that there. Troopy. Traybacks. Jackaroos. Just goes up here. Another troopy. That looks like an 80 or a 100. That's bloody awesome. I reckon they leave it here so the locals can just come and get parts as they want it. There's a bloody 100 or 200 V6 one. Just goes up here everywhere. Pity they just didn't burn them. They just left them the way they were. They'd be fantastic. Tray back ones, alloy trays. Oh, mate, it's just here everywhere. Traybacks, true, troopy, wagons, troopy. I might not quite get the names right. Another wagon there. What's he? He's an 80, is he? Or a troopy? Probably got the same sway bar. Oh, anyway, thank you, Columbaroo Dump, for the for the uh, part. Hey, I now even got a spark. Uh, how good's that? Yeah. Um, this morning we, me and uh, uh, Chris, no not Chris, Gary, Gary, Chris. oh there's that many different campers here, I should have, I took, I've, 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 I've uh, had Jason out fishing and then I took two old fellas out yesterday, we got onto the bloody saddle tails and then uh, yeah just come in and I thought oh I just, they said come out here this is just if he said, he said, you, you, if you can't find your part here, look at that, there's an aluminium tray there, side. Just bits here everywhere. So if you come up to Clumberoo and you're having trouble with your Toyota, just come in here. Spare springs, spare springs. If you want spare springs, 
you know? Coils, look at that. Coils, bloody fucking panards and motor bits and exhausts, fuel tanks. Just, just, yeah, just, just fucking to go a bit light on with it. And, uh, yeah, it'll be here forever. Yeah. I fixed it up, I bloody. This is what I had to do, I had to crawl up here. And, uh, I put that one on just there, the rubber's not the best, you might see it. But I put that bracket on and just had to. And there's the other one over there, she needs new ones in, I'll replace them when I get home. It's uh, perfect. I've used these couple of cardboard bits of paper bags just to lay on. Alright, I'll catch you back at the camp. I'm going to go and see if the boys are chasing a barrow now. Um, at the, uh, where it comes into the, where the uh, ferry comes in every fortnight with fresh tucker. Um, fr uh, fresh fruit and veggies every fortnight. Fuels get up around $4 a litre. Uh, well, three ninety five, I think. I haven't had to buy fuel yet. But, uh, beautiful goldies and bloody beautiful, uh, saddle tails. Uh, been catching. Okay, catch us later. How pretty. King Edward or one of them rivers. Looks like fresh. I wonder if you can swim in there. Just had to walk in over. This, uh, this is a Kimberley, eh? I just, what I remember is just rock. Bloody rocks. How good does this look? Right down from the barge land and another two or three k's down. Barge land is right back that way. Come down through the loose sand. I just thought there might be a big muddy crawl along here somewhere. There might be a big crocodile in here three. I'm just a bit cautious. Supposed to be a big fella here somewhere. You don't even see a small crab. I say, I reckon they got them thinny, thinned out a bit. And the water so clear. I think the tide needs to be out a bit or something. By night time, the torch. Thought you'd see one muddy crawling around here. Thought I'd better make a bit of an effort to see if I can find one. Out in the bay going up to King Edward, I think. Beautiful. Be sand flies glowing in here, midgey, sorry. Big fires in the distance. Ridges of rock. Just looking in here for crap. You think there'd be something crawling around in here other than a big crocodile? The bishop's hut. It's still here. That was all that was here when we were here last, 36 years ago. And his boat was anchored straight out the front there. Beautiful. Tonky up at Honeymoon Bay today. Just been talking to Wolf. What a lovely and his wife. I think Joy. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. If you watch this ever, uh, they've been coming here 20 years. And uh, 
Yeah, what a bloody pleasure to get back and just see. There's the water just out there. There's the old hut. Looks like she's had a shower room and a smoke. She reminds me of Paige's hut up in Double Island, a bit, a little bit different. In the shade there. How pretty is that? How pretty. Good everyone, it's here. here. Um, back that way is uh, home, about 15, 16k. Uh, Honeybee Bay's down in there. I don't know if you can see because of that sun, but they're the East Governors Island just over here. Straight out through here is uh, and around the point, a few more points is the uh, mouth of Drysdale. I'm just going out to the East Governesses and the deep water to see if I can have a go for a, a big finger mark. I just got, uh, oh they're not big fish but I didn't want to kill any more than I had to. Uh, just got three nice saddle tails this morning, just nice eating sized fish. That would be beautiful for bloody dinner. You're only allowed, sort of, you're allowed 10 kilos frozen and then 10 kilos fresh each day as long as you eat them uh, but yeah I'll just go a bit closer on video a bit more it's uh, going out here it's about 40 meters of water I'm looking for and maybe pick up a few nice bit bigger finger mark if not I'll go back home and, and cook up a feed bloody uh, mark and Yui and um, Greg went home this morning. They started working their way home back to the Tananara. They were good chaps. Brought them out fishing the other day. I don't know if I filmed any of that. I was bloody slack. Uh, and had a couple of good sessions with one with Jason. I think there's a bit of film on him. And uh, yeah, I'm just out exploring today. Have fuel, have boat, we'll travel. So we're just going to have a look around. Plenty of boats out here, there's just another boat just screaming out across to that island or mainland or whatever it is he's going for. So yeah, it's not as though you're out here by yourself. And it's, you know, it's a glamour day, look at it, a bit of a ripple on it. I feel this way out of that sun, but the old mighty 60, 90 year old, just purring away, give her a nice grease up the other day and she's just humming. Yeah, GPS has been playing up a bit, so I've had to hook up the other one. And as soon as I hooked up the little Garmin, the other one, this one's never missed a beat now. Typical. But that's all right, I don't mind. Just heading up to these marks here, off the East Governor. You just got to go through there, I think, to go to uh, Mouse of the Drysdale. Yeah, there it is up in here. You go slip through, slip through that little gap there, and uh, yeah, uh, it's not a real little gap, but yeah, oh, oh, I'm going around circles here. Yeah, but you go through there and you go across to the Drysdale. I won't worry about there. I think Tony, where these mates are going to go in there. I'm not a barra fisherman's back, so it doesn't mean nothing to me. Uh, plenty of. Jackson Barra down the King Edward Sound if I wanted to go over there. If I struck another boat I probably would have went. But uh, El Blancho or Lancho was saying there's a lot of sandbars and bits and pieces up in there. Anyway, I'll turn this off and uh, keep going and have a look at the go. I was turning on when I get over here. Pretty, very pretty place if I didn't film the other day. Been out here once. How pretty is that over there? You might see it. There's the back of the East Governor's Islands. 
gonna go over and have a look at this beach. Wolf said there could be some crocs and turtles nesting in there. I might even be able to go through that little gap there yet. If not, I'll go out and go around over there. Come around, I'll see if I can navigate the island. You won't see over there, but I think the Drysdale's straight up in there. I'll go and have a look. Typical bloody Kimberley. Look at the rocks. Probably a bit up the back there. Spot up here if you want to camp on the island. How sheltered. Jacks and that around these rocks. I got to feed a fish in the esky anyway, so I'm not worried. Someone, Wolf said that there's uh, enough as this one or another, and they nest in here the turtles, green turtles. Like a bloody oh well, I'll keep going around here. That was pretty. Bit of island hopping. I won't get out. I just keep moving my way around. I think I'll go back and cook a feed. How good's that? Oh, a bit of weed hanging off things. But I'm out here by myself, in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. I got a little bit of not eye. I'm gonna go down in that gap over there and have a look. I don't want to fucking fall out and have this thing piss off on me, so I'm just gonna have a look around. I wouldn't mind see if I could get a photo of a bird or something here from my wife, Donna. Okay, I'm filming again. Just going through here, it's buddy, why do you think? Poke down through here, looks like a rock bar right across it there. Don't know if I'll get over it. I'll see how we go. Could be a crock up on any of these little banks here. Ah, she might be deep enough. I'm going across, buddy. Uh, she looks like she's running a bit there too. Just lift the motor up a bit. Oh, I don't know if I'll get through there.
This snake's really steady. Not even knock her out again. She just goes through. Shallow. Just gonna go another bloody fit. Get a little bit of pace up, so if I hit something, I hit it hard enough. Just gonna get out here a bit. I think, oh, I don't know, I'll just see if she hits anything hard, I'll just back away. Look at all that there, beautiful. <laughs> like a only worn away there, not much. Should be trout and everything in here. I think I'm through. Beautiful. Oh, how good was that? Yeah, I was half expecting to see a croc up on one of these banks. I can't even see where they're bloody laying. Hey, oh, that's made me day coming around there. I wanted to do it the other day, but I had the old farts with me and I wasn't quite going. Oh, gee, you'd think you'd get out over there and find a crab in those rocks. But I'll just be safe. No crabs worth dying for. I know they're tasty. Oh, all right. I'll sneak out here now. Might go back to camp and have some dinner. What a pretty little spot. I just looked that up. It's a 1.4 metre tide for this tinny and I made it through there pretty easy. Uh, at the car on anyway you might see that in there I'm not sure uh, it's flickering yeah a few mangroves I reckon there'll be black lipped oysters all over those rocks there I'm not worried I've had a big feed of oysters in a uh, that Jason made me so they were nice alright keep moving I'll head back home I think beautiful day didn't catch your finger mark I was chasing but oh we got a few so still got a feed just can't do much better than that's all you're allowed so oh you can have other fish but you just got to watch your kilos that'll do me that'll be six fillets I'll have them catches at home or next tomorrow or somewhere Michael with a little yeah, nanny. Um, I let him go, I think, eh? Yeah, let that one go. I'd say so. I'll spike him in a minute. A couple in there and a couple in the esky. Got the boys out. I'm a ball. <laughs> I'm a ball. <laughs>